Marcus Conte reporting on Pedo Gate. I know, I know, it's it's uh, it's like kicking the same can down the road, but this is the this is the most exciting story right now of our time, and it is going to be the the uh, foundational story leading into the 2020 uh, presidential election. So let's look at the latest developments in Pedo Gate, the case against uh, the People versus uh, versus Jeffrey Epstein. Accused pedophile, confirmed pedophile. So Chuck Schumer, the good senator from New York, got thousands of dollars in donations from Jeffrey Epstein, the New York Post is reporting. Chuck Schumer, who called on Labor Secretary Alexandra uh, Alexander Acosta to resign and said President Trump should answer for his friendship with Jeffrey Epstein, accepted thousands of dollars in donations from the alleged pedophile Throughout the 1990s, the Post has learned. Federal Elections Commission records show that Schumer received seven $1,000 donations from Epstein between 92 and 97, first as a congressman from New York and blah, 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 blah. He was also given, gave, uh, Epstein gave $10,000 to victory, to Schumer's victory fund. Epstein gave an additional $5,000 to win New York, Schumer Associates. $2,000, $1,000, money pouring in from Jeffrey Epstein to Chuck Schumer, the New York senator. How about that? That means Chuck Schumer linked entities uh, received a combined $22,000 from the confirmed pedophile. Schumer spokesman uh, Alego responded, while these con- campaign accounts closed about 20 years ago, and even then, the campaign never controlled... All right, so they, they're just scapegoating, right? How do you call for the country? Why don't you come forward and say, you know what, by the way, this, this sleaze bag donated to my uh, campaign rather than immediately go what the president didn't do and what Acosta didn't do. Why don't you talk about what you didn't do, Chuck Schumer? So also, uh, NYPD, um, this is fucked up. NYPD let convicted pedophile Jeffrey Epstein skip judge-ordered check-ins. Damn, right? It's good to be a billionaire, right? So listen to this, man. Convicted pedophile Jeffrey Epstein never once checked in with uh, city cops in the eight-plus years since a Manhattan judge ordered him to do so every 90 days. And the NYP says it's fine with that. After being labeled uh, a worst-of-the-worst level three sex offender in 2011, Epstein should have reported in person to verify his address 34 times before he was arrested. Violating violating requirements of the state's uh, Sex Offender Act um, is a felony punishable by up to four years. So 36 violations times four years, that's add another 120 years to a sentence. Uh, subsequent violations carry a sentence of up to seven years, so make it over a hundred years. But the NYPD has required has has required the billionaire financer who owns the the uh, seventy seven million dollar house to check in since hasn't required the billionaire to check in since registering as a sex offender um, over the controversial two thousand eight plea. Right, so he was required to do that. The NYPD can mo- can't modify a court order. Right? He was required. Several current and former high um, high ranking NYPD uh, officials were shocked to learn from the Post that the department had given Epstein a pass. So it was part of his um, plea deal. Uh, State Supreme. They he argued. Epstein argued in court that he his official residence is, residence is the island out in St. Thomas. The island in the middle of the uh, ocean is his residence, permanent residence, and New York is only a vacation home, right? So the judge uh, said, no, 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 no. If you want to you call your main residence, uh, it, you know, in St. Thomas, then sell your New York home. So, so the NYP maintains that... Uh, that 66 wasn't required to check into New York cops because he claims his primary residence is a private island. But State Supreme Court Justice uh, Ruth Pickholtz considered and rejected that argument by defense, by defense lawyers, 
during the, 19, uh, the 2011 hearing. So he was denied. The judge uh, lawyer said that, that, uh, that his, his New York residence and his seven-story house uh, was a vacation home. I think I just said that. Um, right? And the judge said, I'm, I'm sorry, he may have to come every 90 days, she said, the judge. According to an official transcript, he can give up his New York home if he does not want to come every 90 days. <clears throat> so Epstein's in violation of the court order, and who gave him, who gave him cover? Right? That's the whole thing. Here he's taking money from Schumer, who gave him cover? Here he's taking money, he's, he's, uh, the NYPD is giving him a pass. Who's giving him cover? So Acosta, right, final, final note, Acosta was the, is now the labor secretary under Trump, was on TV venomously defending himself. And he, I guess he's, he's a very smooth talker. You want to hear him talk? He's very smooth. He's very eloquent. There was value to getting a guilty plea and having him register. Look, no regrets is a very hard question. He's as dry as they come, put, put you to sleep. But he was basically saying that he did the right thing and he made no, he gave no real reason why one of the most notoriously rich people in the country, you know, billionaire guy, got such a sweetheart deal. He, he went on to say that, oh, well, you don't know what cases are like. It puts the kids through hell. They'll get badgered on the stage. Well, you know what? They're coming forward. 30 of them came forward. So Acosta failed, in my view, of giving, again, he didn't incriminate himself, but he didn't give any valid, um, you know, anything substantive, you know, that you can really bite into to say why he didn't, why Epstein got, a, got such a lenient sentence. So also at, uh, in about an hour, about, uh, about 12 o'clock, I, I've made, I made videos about the Jen Moore murder mystery. Right? Now, I haven't talked about it in a long time, and I go all the way through the whole story because now there's new, there's, I'm going to make some new allegations. Um, right? We have a new suspect in the case, right? If you haven't, if you haven't heard, and um, you'll find out all about it. All you got to do is... All you gotta do, all you gotta do is uh, is watch the video, and you'll find out who it is. Right? So we'll talk about that. The videos are already up. They're gonna post. I'm sorry. Did I knock your eyeball out? I'm sorry. All right. So, so the man in pink, maybe. All right. Who is he? Who are we talking about? So you gotta, you'll have to chirp in at uh, 12 o'clock. It's it's two parts. What happened was I was making the video, and then for some reason it stopped. So I added a part two. So it's just, it's just a continuation of a video. It's probably 35 minutes. And um, I go into the autopsy of, of Jen Moore. I talk about the, the shady characters around Jen Moore, how she died, the, the uh, uh, allegations of that uh, she was killed by the deep state and Bill Clinton for exposing Bill Clinton raping the boy. We talk about that. Um, I talk about that. So, um, so uh, uh, you know, enjoy this video. And, and then... Um, at 12 o'clock Eastern Time, those two videos will pop up, and uh, you'll get the whole Jenny Moore, the whole scoop on Jenny Moore. And um, you know, again, I, I did it. I didn't want to do it as a premiere because I I, I value the comments. Once those videos publish, kindly, uh, I know there's a lot of people on the sidelines that know a lot about this uh, case. People that were directly involved with Jen Moore. A lot of you don't agree with my opinion or my summation. Fantastic. Have your own opinion and your own summation in the comments below, below those videos or make your own video and tell me what's on your mind. Marcus Conti reporting.